Hi guys, welcome back to Bunny Brick Design. So as you can see today, I've been playing with some feathers. Um, decided I needed to use up some of my stash. So I thought we could make um, some feather earrings and I'm gonna show you how to get the cord to lay straight and then we're gonna do another design um, with these feathers and cords and tassels that's going to be a little bit different because I'm going to show you the design process, my design process. Um, so first we're going to make this one. And so I had bought these feathers and I will show you. They came like this, all previously wrapped up with a um, plastic cord. And so putting, trying to put those into a bead cap, um, they're not going to go real well, and even if I got it all the way in there where you're not going to see the black, it's it's too long. So I cut them down, and so I'm, I cut it down. So all I did was just s figure out how far down into the bead cap I wanted it and snipped off. Um, you can find these. I got these at Michael's, I believe, or Joann's or something like that, one of the craft stores. Um... So yeah, and so you're going to need that. You're going to need some chain, and I do believe that's the chain for that. And you're going to need a butterfly or something and, you know, just just some charm. I mean, it can be a, it can be a, a feather, a, like a feather charm. It can be a leaf charm, whatever you want to do. It could just be chains with beads. Um, we may do some of that here where I put some beads and we just do seed beads or something. But I wanted to do this one first. So you're gonna need that. You're gonna need a piece of chain, a charm, some feathers, and a head pin or an eye pin. So this is gonna be real simple, real quick and easy. Um, I just decided to use glue to solve my dilemmas. So this one's glued in. The glue is not dry, so that's why I have not put a um, an ear wire on it because I want to make sure the glue is going to dry. But I wanted to do it with you so that these can both dry together overnight and we can um, we can make it. So basically all I did was get an eye pin. I'm going to glue an eye pin on, but first I want to put this eye pin together. So I'm going to open it up. I'm going to add on my chain. And this is how simple this is. Really simple. Uh, I'm going to add on my chain. I'm going to take a jump ring. And I'm going to add on my charm. And that's literally it to this component. Um, these are very easy to make. Now the other ones are, take a little bit more work. Um, but those, they, they're, they're real simple too. All right, so now I have my charm and now I just gotta make sure when I set this on my, um, when I set it on my feather that it is, so what I don't wanna do is set it on the feather and have it backwards. I wanna set it on the feather so that when it is laying down, that uh, butterfly is facing up. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my feather, and now I know which way this needs to go so I can set this aside, and I'm going to slather glue on both sides of this feather and I'm not I'm gonna be generous about it I'm not going to be and it's gonna it's messy it's gonna go everywhere I just got it on my thumb I'm just gonna wipe that on the table and then I'm gonna take my head pin and I'm just gonna lay it right down in that glue now it's not gonna stay but once you put the bead cap on it will stay and you're gonna hold on to that and you're just gonna push pull the pull the so you're gonna to wanna to pull on this just to get that up in, and then you're gonna to wanna to push on the feather until the feather's all the way in. Now you're gonna make sure that charm lays, lays correctly before it, it solidifies, and this does. 
All right, and so then we're just going to, so now we've got that. Now we've got our two components. And now all I'm going to do is take a pair of round nose pliers here. Um, and I am just going to make a loop. So I'm going to bend it in a direction, bend my loop over. So I'm just making a wire wrap loop here. And I'm just going to take my pliers and pull it over. Now this is a really hard um, head pins or eye pins. So they don't want to make, they don't want to wrap real easy. So you're definitely, if you're using strong eye pins, you're definitely going to want to use your pliers. Then I'm going to get it to the point where I've wrapped it. I only really need to wrap it once. And it, in reality, you don't need to wrap it. You could just, um, you could just do an eye, pin, an eye on it. And then I'm just going to cut. And I'm going to make sure that I tuck in that end underneath. I'm going to straighten that out. And then I'm going to give it a tug. And I'm going to give it a nice push on that. Um, just give it a nice push on that. And that's it. That's literally it. And then I'm going to set these aside to dry. And in about an hour, I'll be able to put the, um, the ear wires on. And they should be good to go. Now, design number two here, and I know I had one. It's around somewhere. The other one's around somewhere. So design number two is just as easy, um, but um, it's it's using crimps. So I did um, bronze on this one just because I think the bronze went well with the with the brown feathers and the brown cord. So all I'm gonna do and. I've already made a pair of those, so I don't have to make identical pairs, but I'm going to show you how to make an identical pair. So you're just going to take some cord, and you're going to figure out a length of, of cord that you want, and it doesn't have to be any specific size. And I'm just going to cut here, and then I'm going to hold on to the ends and just cut the center. So now I've got two of those. I'm going to do the same thing with my metallic brown. And I'm going to make these a little bit longer. And I'm going to cut. And then I'm just going to hold it and cut. And I'm going to do the same thing with my third color. Now you'll notice these are curling. And I'm going to show you how to fix that in a minute. So there we go. There's my other one. And this one's shorter than everything. And there we go. So these can be the same length, they can be shorter, they can, you can, you can do whatever you want with them. And now I'm just going to take one end and I'm going to nip one end at an angle because I want these to be at an angle. So I'm just going to take my scissors on the angle there and I'm just going to nip it. So you see it makes a nice sharp point. Now this is optional, you don't have to, I just think this makes it look nicer um, for the finished ends. And you can do them as, oh, excuse me, as sharp as you want or as, as short as you want. So like if I wanted to do a super long one, I would just nip the corner. But I, I'm just going to nip that and make it a little shorter. So it doesn't really, doesn't really matter what you do. All right, so now I've got those cut. Now, you're going to need some manner of feathers. And I've got two different styles here. I've got these feathers here that are that are one color and then I've got these that are a little shorter and a little browner and so it doesn't really matter what you do for feathers um, these uh, these feathers just so you know are um, they're what do they call that I can't even think of the word so they're humane they were humanely caught these were not these were so I got these on Amazon um, so they were they were plucked from a bird. These I don't know where they came from, but so I'm just going to take several feathers 
and I'm going to put them together. So I've got three there. Um, so again, and this is, they're never going to look the same, you know, like sets. You're, you're going to pick out feathers that are close to the same size to do your, to do each earring. And this is why I've got a bunch of them here is because I'm trying to find ones that are roughly the same size. So those two are the same size. I need a nice long one. Um, again, we're going to have to find a nice long one and see your you're going to be at a disadvantage if you don't have the lengths. So I'm just going to pull out some more feathers here. I'm just going to actually pull these all out at this point because I need to find a nice long feather. And let's see if there's a nice long one in here. No, not the same. All right, so I may not be able to use this one. I'm going to set him aside because he's not long enough. And I'm going to need to find some long feathers. Now there's two that are the same size there. Um, and I'm going to have feathers going everywhere for the time being. So again, this is, this is the design. You're picking out feathers that are going to be about the same length or... You know, like you're going to need at least two of each that are the same length. Um, that one's the same length as that, but that one's the same length as that. I need a really long one, guys. Can I have a really long one? All right, so we're not going to find a really long one, so we're just going to go with shorter ones on this. Um, so... There's two, three that are the same length. So I'm going to take two and I'm going to find another one that's about the same length as that. So now that's four, four feathers. I'm just going to set these aside right there like that. And I am going to have to clean up this cloth when I'm done. Now the other thing you're going to need to do these earrings um, besides feathers is you're going to need some of these leather cord ends. And um, in various sizes. So I bought these on Amazon, various sizes. So what, now what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to find my feathers that are all the same size. So these are my longest ones. And I'm going to go one, two. I'm going to find my next largest size that match. And those don't. So it's got to be... Mm, that one's oh wait did I just find another long one <gasps> I did oh I'm so happy all right and then those aren't the same those are the same so there's three and you can do as many or as few as you want there is four and so I'm going to do five on this one so there's five and now to get these set up, I'm going to take my longest one, my second longest one, and set them side by side, and then my next longest one and set it on the other side so that they're three side by side there. So they're, as you can see, they're three side by side. I'm going to set this guy on top. And believe me, this is not easy to pinch. And then this guy's going to go on top. And he does not want to go in there. There we go. And then I'm just going to hold them and I'm going to pinch them and I'm going to see what they look like. And keep in mind, this is probably not going to be exactly the way it looks on the finished product because these feathers are going to, they're going to move a little bit when you crimp them. But that looks pretty good for a pattern. So now I'm going to hold these and I'm going to take one of my bigger um, cord ends and I'm going to set it so that it is the face, the face is up and the, the pinching is down. Like, just like that, over my feathers. 
and I'm going to hold on to it and I'm just going to start squeezing. Make sure it's down. Just start squeezing very gently to start closing. As you can see, it's starting to close and then I'm just going to flatten it just like that. Once it started to close, you can just flatten it. And those are going to flatten and I'm going to give it a nice good squeeze to make sure that those feathers are in there. Now the feathers are sticking up a little bit here and that's fine. If you don't want to see those or you don't think you need those in there, you can go ahead and just do that and give them a snip with some flush cutters. And as you can see, the feathers did move when I, when I crimped, but you can just kind of pull them apart. They're going to be organic. They're not going to sit perfectly. Um, so just so you know, you're never going to get them to sit perfect. But that's a nice... That's a nice set of feathers right there. There we go. And it is going to curl a little bit. So I'm going to make this other one. And again, we're going to take that. I'm going to take now, I'm going to try to mirror. So I've got my second largest one on the inside here. So I'm going to have my second largest one, which is this guy on the inside here. And then this guy over here. And then one, if I can get it two and the other one and we've got that I'm gonna to try to fan these out just a little bit I'm gonna grab a cord and and again making sure the other thing you have to do is make sure all your feather ends are at the right height because if they're not and that one's got an extra little thing I'm just gonna snip off make sure that you get all of the all of the feathers when you crimp this because if you don't the feather will fall out and that's gonna be no fun so I'm just crimping here and now I'm just going to flat crimp and that's got all of them in there and there's number two and as you can see they curl depending on how you lay the feathers they curl in the opposite direction so we've got our, our feathers now the next step is and we've got all our cords here mixed in with my feathers we need to put these also in one of these so I'm going to find my gold my beige, making sure that I have my flat ends together. And then I'm going to find my brown. So I've got the gold, the beige, the brown, and I'm going to pinch them. So I'm pinching the sides. So this is the flat part on the top, and this is the side. Because these are gonna these are really thick, as you can see. They're one millimeter. So we need to be able to get one of these large cord ends around all of those so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna pinch that really good and I'm going to slide my cord thing I'm gonna slide my cord end over top all three of those as you can see I got them all sandwiched in there and now I'm just gonna start closing like I did before and then flatten and once I once I've started it flattens it's in there nice and tight now it was it had a little bit of a space so I just kind of squeezed in on that and then I'm just gonna flatten really good those aren't going anywhere and again I've got extra cord up there at the top you can always snip that off if there's too much um, but that's really not going to be seen now the other thing is it's curling as you can see it's curling it's got a natural curl to get rid of that, this is really easy. You're just going to pinch onto your cords and just hold them between your thumb and your index finger and wiggle them back and forth. Go down a little bit, wiggle. Go down a little bit, wiggle. Go down a little bit, wiggle. And just keep doing this until you get all the way to the end. And this is just going to loosen up the, the, the cording 
just a little bit to make it lay a little bit flatter and then I've got a little trick that will help you to completely straighten them out and it's going to be a tool that you've probably seen me use before but it's unconventional so it's a tool but it's not what I normally would use it for all right and so I am down to the ends and now you can see that kind of straightened it out a little bit but it's still kind of stiff so now I'm going to take my wire straightener and I'm just going to hold it between two of them with my thumb and I'm just going to pull on it just a couple of times and as you can see now it's nice and straight that lays it hangs completely straight and that's all we're going to do so I'm going to make this other one and now keep in mind when I put these together the brown cord was on the inside so I'm going to have to do the brown cord the white cord and I need to make sure I get my ends together and then my gold cord so now this is gonna this is gonna be in the opposite direction so we're making earrings so now again pinch making sure they lay flat together this is critical because if you if you have them laying side by side they will never fit in this you'll need a really big one of these All right, we're in and again, just making sure it's in. So I'm just going to flatten those into, and then we're just going to start to cramp, start to cramp on that side, start to cramp, flatten, and then just pinch it together, flatten, 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 flatten. And there's a little bit extra of that cord. So I'm just going to nip that and get that off. And then just close that a little bit. And there we go. So again, it's not loose. And you can do this, circles, you can do it however you want just to start loosening, loosening it up. You don't have to um, you don't have to do much on this this part just because this is just giving it a, a little bit of a, a loosen. Um, just enough so that when I run it through this a couple of times, it just it takes out the curl. And there we go and it doesn't have to take out all the curl um, because you, you do want it to hang organically and if it starts to stiffen up again when you're you're working on it or you find a spot just go ahead and so this also makes it look older so it makes the cords look older so if you're going for that boho um, you know um, authentic antique look that will help you out a little bit because it'll dull the sheen on the cords all right so now we've got our two components and it's really simple you're just going to take a jump ring you know if you want or um alternately what i did and let me grab some ron's ear wires i thought i had some out i do um i'm going to take a couple bronze ear wires and we are going to open up and I'm going to set the feathers on first. And now you could set the feathers in the front if you wanted to. So if I wanted to have those. So we did the feathers in the front on the other ones. Let's do the, the cords in the front on this one and see how it looks. So I'm just going to put those on and I'm going to close up my ear wire and see I don't like that because see the feathers go into the back that's why I think I put them on the front to begin with is because when I'm doing that the feathers like to um, curl and the cords hold them a little more straight so I'm gonna put the feathers on I'm gonna put the 
cords on and then I'm going to close this up and there we go so there we go so they they kind of hang they're going to be they're definitely going to be fluffy they're not going to lay completely flat but um they're fun and I think the next one we're going to do because we've got some time is I think I want to do a chain style and I'm going to grab some silver ones of these and we're going to make some really long feather earrings just really long feather earrings what do you say so I've got some silver I got my silver chains I am going to grab my silver cord ends And, yep, okay. So I've got some silver cord ends here. I'm going to put these away real quick. I'm going to have to clean up, but I gotta, I've got to put the feathers away. Um, and we will do that. So I, what I want to do on this one is I've got some extender chains here. And I'm just going to find real quick, I'm going to use an eye pen. And real quick, I am going to find the um, two that match, that are fairly long. And actually, let me see, do I have long chain? I think I have some long chain here. This may be better. Ooh, yeah, this is better. So I've got, oh, those are necklaces. Never mind. We don't want that. There we go. That's chain. That's chain. All right, so I've got chain here. And this is small. That's fine. We don't need um, a, big, a big chain because this is all probably going to be hidden anyways. I'm going to take a length, and I'm deciding I want some fairly long feather earrings. So I am going to just put my... Um, my chain through an eye pin and fold it over and wherever it is oops wherever it's hanging I'm just going to cut so basically I'm finding the last link that joins together and so what I'm doing here and let me show you real easy on camera is I'm finding this is an easy way to cut chain the same length for earrings is I'm just holding it down here and finding the last link that matches up so it's going to be this link right here so I'm going to cut this one right here and I think that's one link extra but I'm just no it's not all right, and then now I've got to go back and find my center point because my head pin, my eye pin fell out. But I'm going to take my two points and then just go and cut that center link off. And now I have two identical lengths of chain without actually having to measure or count chains. All right, so now what I was thinking of doing on this one is putting a couple feathers in a, in a thing and then a couple more feathers in a thing and just continuing on with doing several feathers at a time. And then just so, so the way it's going to look is once I've done that and I take them and connect them with the jump rings, I'm going to have feathers and then feathers and then feathers and feathers and feathers and it's going to be this long thing um, so we're gonna to have to start by finding feathers that are the same size or close to two so that we have mirror we have mirror feathers for our and so literally that's just you know finding two feathers that are the same size and separating them into 
components. And I'm going to do this for a bunch of them. And again, it is not good. These are not going to be perfect. So if you are lining them up side by side and trying to figure out, you know, how to get them identically even when you're um, making them, it's never going to happen um, just because feathers, unless they're, sorry, unless they're manufactured, um, you're never going to get two that are identical and, and hang the same way. And really, there are no manufactured feathers. They're, you know, the dyed ones that you see in the stores are literally um, just real feathers that were bleached and then colored. Um, all right, so there's a pile, and I'm going to do a couple more just because I want, um, like I said, I want a lot of feathers on this. So, and it's a lot of times I will take feathers that I find out, like, outdoors. So I have bird feeders and I fill the bird feeders, and occasionally the birds that are at the feeders will drop a feather. And I pick those up, and when I have a couple that are the same size, I will make earrings out of them. And that's literally free, well, if you don't count the bird seed that I, I use to feed them, it's free uh, materials. So, um, yeah, that's always, that's always fun. And... I'm really enjoying playing with these feathers and trying to find ones that match. I just, I love natural materials. Um, all right, so I have a pile here, minus those two, and a pile here. I think we're going to get started. We'll do the one, and then I will do the other one off camera. Um, so I'm going to take some small, just some super, super small ones of those because I don't need um, big ones if I'm only doing one feather at a time. So I'm going to just do literally one feather at a time. And because it's a very small it's going to make it harder to crimp. So I may end up, oops, I may end up doing multiple feathers. Um, I may need to have to do, even with the small ones, I may have to do at least two because I don't think one is going to be, um, I don't think one is going to be, And actually, I don't want the same size on that. Let's do these two. So again, ooh, I hate dealing with these little things. So just try to get it to set on top, and it's, it's going to be a pain. These are not going to be easy. Oh, crap. The other thing you can do, and I just lost all my feathers, um... Well, will be to set it in on a table like this and start crimping. Um, and see, those are just too... Yeah, that one's, these are too small. All right, I'm going to pause you for a second. I got to resort out these and I will be right back. All right, guys. Oops, sorry about shaking the camera. After fighting with those little ones, those little ones just, they, they crush. So I'm going to use the bigger ones um, to do this. And I'm just going to do two or three feathers at a time. So at this point, I'm just going to grab three of my feathers, um, random sizes, um, random shapes, and I'm going to put one of those bigger, um, one of the bigger crimps on. Oh, if I can't, I keep dropping them. Well, good thing I have a bunch. Um, 
And so trying to fight with these, these are a pain. I'm going to war I'm going to warn you these are a pain, especially with the little feathers. Um so I'm just going to, whoops, fine, we'll add a fourth feather, feather to this guy, and tuck those in, we just need to get one side, we need, we need to get the one side down first, so I just got the one side down. Now I'm just going to go and crimp the other side. And flatten, flatten, flatten. And there is, whoops, and that one came out and that's fine. So there is another set. So that's two. I'm going to do at least four, so which means I need more feathers. And there's three together. And see, some of these work better than others, and I think that is just because I think they were manufactured differently, or like this one crimped, but it's not letting me flatten it. There we go. Flatten. And I didn't get one in, but that's fine. Because, again, we're going to be making multiples of these. And so I've got this guy that didn't make it in there. We'll take this guy. This guy. I'm going to do four on this last one. And... Hopefully I have enough of these. And now I'm not cleaning any of them up so you can see the feather ends are sticking out there. I will clean those up after I get all of these made. Cramp, 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 squeeze, flatten, flatten, flatten flatten as much as I can flatten and the more feathers you have in there the less flatter it's going to be and I'm going to clean up these real easy to do there so now I've got little feathers there I've got two three four and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take jump rings and those are kind of big so I think I'm going to see if I can find some itty bitty jump rings. And make it even more frustrating. Ha! <laughs> no, seriously. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up my jump ring. I'm going to grab a pair of feathers. And I am just going to randomly and... Let's see, we're going to have to count. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Oops. One. Yeah, that's seven. If I can get the jump ring in. There we go, seven. And I'm just going to put that on there. So there's going to be a little bit of chain hanging, and that's fine. So there's set number one. We're going to open up set number for, for set number two. I'm going to make sure when I put my jump ring or when I put my jump rings through that the feathers are all facing the same direction. So this one's facing this way. I need to make sure this one's facing the same. And I'm going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, and close that. So now I've got just dangly feathers on a chain. And I may want to go up a few more on that 
just because, um, or I may need to make more of these. So we'll see. And this one, I'm going to go up, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We'll go into number six here and close. And there's that one. So there we go. And then lastly, we'll take this last one and go up. We'll go, let's see, we're in there. We'll go one, two, three. We'll go into the fourth one. Come on. Come on. Or the third one. Just because it just wanted to fight with me. And then I have this little bit of chain left. And so I can either hang the chain down in front and just have a little piece of chain. Or I could, if I wanted to, put a feather on the ear wire and have it dangle like that. I think I'm going to have the, the necklace or the uh, feathers dangle from the chain at the top. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one more set of feathers and I'm just going to grab some random feathers here. Um, and I think this one's going to have a bunch. So there's four. Just I'm going to grab four random feathers and I'm going to make one more because five is, you know, it's an odd number. Four, I think, is just not... Um, I just like odd numbers when I'm doing things because um, that way it, every, everything has a middle. Um... This guy does not want to stay on. Come on. No. All right. There we go. Fold it over. Oops, and I lost one. That's fine. So now I only have four in there, and that's that's fine. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this guy up at the top. Oops, and I lost another feather. Um, I'm going to use that guy up at the top, and so we've got this really dangly, feathery um, earring. So let me get a let me get a ear wire here and show you and then i think i am going to finish up the other one off camera and um so all i'm going to do is take my feathers put that on take my chain and put that on and then just close it up so then we have this really fun, fluffy, feathery earring. And I think that is, the chain is backwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the chain off and flip it around. Um, that's the other thing. If you've put the chain on and your feathers are going in a certain direction, make sure that when you're, they're hanging, and this guy just does not want to go on in that direction. Come on. Thank you. There we go. There we go. So there. So now we have, and I may, I may, like I said, move up the feathers because they seem they they seem to be a little, a little bit. There we go. See how that looks. There we go. They're dangly, dangly, dangly. 
So there we go. Nice pair of um, fluffy feather earrings, and they're gonna they're gonna go all over the place. So um, I could add additionally. I could add. Um, beads to this, or I could add more fringe, or I could add more feathers, but anyways, we made, and these are, these are pretty much dry, they need to cure, but, so we've made those, and let's put those on an ear wire, so we've made dangly blue feathers, we've made a pair of So this is how this is going to lay. And of course it's going to want to flip around, but that's how that's going to lay. So we've got the nice feather and fun earring there. And then we've made these. So we've made three fun pairs of earrings using feathers. And I got to use up a bunch of my feathers and um, some of my cording. And I hope this gives you ideas and inspires you. So this is going to be my fun with feathers. Um, if you're going to be selling these to um, people, I recommend just because feathers tend to draw dust. Um, that if you're going to sell them, put them in plastic. Um, because if you're doing craft fairs, if you're doing outdoor fairs, if you're doing, um, you know, f any kind of fair that's going to draw you know, dust or something like that. Um, oh, those are pretty. Um, you're going to want to keep these clean. So, cause they do draw dust. So anyways, um, that is my fun with feathers and I'm going to go clean up. I'm going to finish making this other one so that I have my companion and, um, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.